grow up and you see things and you start believing that you could be something that it sounds good but you know it ain't right because a woman is a woman and a man is a man yeah. welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen i hope you've all had a great day i hope you've all had a great weekend in this episode i think i'm gonna be talking about something we're all getting increasingly bored of and let me know if i'm wrong in saying this by the way but one thing i think we're all getting increasingly bored of is when a celebrity and just celebrities in general right but when a celebrity who has a huge platform a huge audience comes out and says something that would be deemed controversial in this snowflake liberal world we're all living in and then 24 hours later 48 hours later it doesn't take too long at this rate honestly but they're issuing a groveling apology or their publicists post the groveling apology with statements like i didn't mean to say what i said i didn't mean to cause any harm to xyz community it doesn't really reflect what i believe sounds like deja vu right now i know some people who are aware of this story will be sitting there thinking wait wasn't the apology deleted didn't he delete the apology yes the apology was deleted however it has now since been re-uploaded so clearly for some people a spine is well hard to find the person in question carlos santana an american guitarist went viral the other day as at a concert he went off script and went against lgbtq plus ideology essentially saying a man is a man and a woman is a woman wow how dare he and as you can imagine as soon as this clip went viral this led many progressive communities to go insane because simply stating the facts now has become highly offensive it's a huge crime and no one must ever ever do it however interestingly he was cheered at this event this concert for saying these statements which is kind of telling of the society we're all living in right where somebody can say something so simple as a man is a man and a woman is a woman and they get cheered for doing so that's how backwards things have become he also says he's close with dave Chappelle, which is insinuating i guess he shares the same views as dave Chappelle. but before we carry on and discuss this any further here is said viral clip of carlos santana stating a man is a man and a woman is a woman take a watch oh you're lying your ass there is no virtual reality God made you and me before we came out of the womb. You know who you are and what you are. Later on when you grow up and you see things and you start believing that you could be something that it sounds good but you know it ain't right. Because a woman is a woman and a man is a man. Yeah. Whatever you want to do in the closet, that's your business. So I'm okay with that. I am like this with my brother Dave Chappelle. Talk to you like yeah great stuff right it's always good when we see a celebrity at first coming out and saying these sort of things we need more and more people to come out and say something so simple and i think many people will also be agreeing with what he said however as i mentioned at the beginning it didn't take too long for the woke mob to come after this man and in the very same sentence it didn't take too long for carlos santana to issue a pr written statement where he's apologizing for saying such terrible comments and this apology went viral on his official facebook page i am sorry for my insensitive comments on oh no, how terrible they don't reflect that i want to honor and respect all persons ideals and beliefs i realized that what i said hurt people and that was not my intent i sincerely apologize to the transgender community and everyone i offended here is my personal goal that i strive to achieve every day i want to honor and respect all persons ideals and beliefs whether they are lgbtq or not this is the planet of free will and we have all been given this gift i will now pursue this goal to be happy and have fun and for everyone to believe what they want and follow in your hearts without fear it takes courage to grow and glow in the light that you are and to be true genuine and authentic we grow and learn to shine our light with love and our compliments have a glorious existence peace carlos santana yeah it's kind of embarrassing i'm not gonna lie to you i don't know how you guys feel but i imagine as soon as he said those statements in that viral clip his pr team started panicking and whipped up an apology because they could see and they knew 
what was about to happen. Now, the apology, yes, was deleted after some time, but again, after some time, it was re-uploaded because apparently people are just so scared of this woke mob they have to bow down every single time carlos santana says a woman is a woman and a man is a man then deletes publicist apology to woke mob then it seems he put back the apology guitarist carlos santana told his audience at a recent concert a woman is a woman and a man is a man that's it which critics attacked as anti-trans no it's just common sense a post on his facebook page then backtracked saying i am sorry for my insensitive comments the post appeared to have been deleted the next day but it has since reappeared on santana's facebook page so who knows what's happened with this one? Maybe he thought to himself, yeah, you know what? Apologizing is wrong. Maybe we should take it down. His team got back to him and said, hey, look, maybe you should put it back up. It looks better for our brand image. We'll be viewed in a better light. And as we know, a celebrity, their team care about the brand image more than anything, even if it means standing for truth. And if a celebrity wants to come out and say something that would be deemed controversial and they know they're going to have to end up apologizing because their team will come back to them and say, hey, look, you shouldn't have said this, I highly recommend don't say anything at all. If you know you're going to end up apologizing, why say anything? Because you only highlight how powerful the woke mob can be. I also do find it very strange when people like Carlos Santana come out and apologize because they obviously don't mean it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have said the opposite statements a few days ago. I know liberals eat this up. They love it. They love to see people uh, cower, bow down and apologize. But for people who have common sense like us, we can see it's clearly fake which is also very telling of the person because if you're going ahead and doing something you clearly don't want to do and you allow your team to also go ahead and post this apology if it was his team it's very telling of this whole situation it shows you really do have no backbone and you would rather be viewed positively by these progressive communities than stand for anything based in truth stand for what's right but then again these are celebrities so i wouldn't expect anything different. But as I said in yesterday's video when speaking about Jordan Peterson and just to round this video off now, it's always somebody who expresses a right wing view, a right wing view. And a lot of the time these views are facts so they just label them right wing so people don't express them. It's never leftists or liberals who face consequences. You know, when they come out and say something that is clearly pushing the boundaries, which is a lot worse than what Carlos Santana said, right? They cross the line, but they're never forced to apologize. They never get canceled. Sometimes the mainstream media celebrates and cheers for them. Oh, this is so stunning. This is so brave. This is how XYZ pushes back against oppression in 2023. It's an absolute joke, and so are these apologies, you know. And whilst Carlos Santana says he's close with Dave Chappelle, uh, clearly you haven't taken a lot of inspiration from Dave Chappelle because at this point, as far as I'm aware, Dave Chappelle hasn't apologized for his views that he expressed many months ago that led to his quote-unquote, sorry for my voice going there, that led to his quote-unquote cancellation. But that is the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below on this whole situation. I would love to hear them all. If you have enjoyed today, please, for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Share this video, but until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.